I want to give you a peek into the Protective Diet Test Kitchen to see what Jerry and I are eating over the Labor Day holiday. I just took these off the grill. These are the Cheater Baked Potatoes. Look at how perfectly grilled they are. Super quick and easy, keeping your kitchens cool. And although Jerry's baking chips, because we're going starch heavy tonight. We've got one of the pressure cooker cornbreads cooling right here. And that is because we're having Slang Jane. This is an East Texas classic. It's Monday night's recipe of the week. And of course, we bumped it up with all of our probiotic ferments, our probiotic pickled onions, pepper rings, pickles, our kosher deli pickles that we've been fermenting. Or you can just keep it totally unfermented. The recipe has the options. But all I can say is I want to eat this big old bowl myself. It as smells it's, amazing. Oh my God, it smells so good. And I learned about this recipe from my friend Sarah. And she's from Texas. And you'll read all about it on the recipe description. Where it originated. It's over a century old. It's a relish. It can be eaten as a salad. But I think our community is going to love it over TC's beans. And that's what I've got in my pressure cooker. And when you make TC's beans, be sure to stir them up. It makes this delicious, creamy beans that way. And then in Texas, they top their black eyed peas that they simmer with smoked meats. But I'm going to show you a different way to make them coming up. I couldn't find any fresh black eyed peas because that's how they prepare them and then they simmer them and um, make them nice and tender and then they top them with this relish like that. It dresses it up. But oh my gosh, on TC's beans, you've got to give it a try. And I would layer those beans on top of our tortilla chips, which Jerry's helping me out here baking those for me. Another way to enjoy this relish is like a salad, just like this in a bowl with a piece of our pressure cooked cornbread. Oh my gosh. And some probiotic pepper sauce or hot sauce would be how I like it. But with these cheater baked potatoes, they're so tender and creamy on the inside and golden brown on the outside. I would slice these cheater bakes just like this. Just like score them a little bit with your knife like I just did so that they will catch all of this briny dressing. Oh, it's so delicious. It's tangy, fresh. This is how I like enjoying it. So load up your starches with this week's recipe on a protective diet. Thanks to East Texas. Food history. I love it. Sugar-free, of course, on a protective diet. Take care and best of health.